fat ass out. Okay? Please, for the love of God, don't want to push you on a wave. Seriously. So every time I see like a big dude coming out for like a surf lesson, okay, you guys, have you guys seen the movie Monsters, Inc.? Yeah? Okay, you remember that scene in the beginning where it's just like a bunch of monsters walking up? You know, you got the one gangly ass dude whose knuckles are dragging on the floor. You got the one Asian that doesn't even speak English. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the water. Get the fuck out. And then you got the fat ass dad and his bratty ass kid. That's who you get. That kid, one time though, I had a kid. He literally, every time I would tell him to do something, I was like, kid, scoot forward on your board. He looked at me and he was like, why? Why? So I pushed his ass on a wave. <laughs> Yeah, he tumbled into the rocks, he swam back to me, and I was like, that's why, you dumbass. <laughs> now go swim back to your fat fucking father and get the fuck out of the water. Both of you. <laughs> if, uh, if I had to, like, choose an Asian, if I had to, like, choose an Asian that I want to teach how to serve, I choose the Japanese. Any Japanese here? Yeah. See, cause you guys, you guys can pick it up fast, man. Cause I only need to know three words to teach a Japanese surf lesson. It's koide, which means paddle, tate, which means stand up, and abunai, which means that's dangerous. Don't fucking go over there. And they get that. Koreans, I don't wanna, I don't wanna teach you. <laughs> don't come out to my surf lessons. You're not invited. Cause you guys don't listen. I can literally use a universal sign like this. What does this mean? Just come here. You will look at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll start swimming in circles. <laughs> the fuck, get the fuck out of the water! Fuck out! Cool, oh cool story. <laughs> I uh, I also used to be a lifeguard. Is there any, any lifeguards here? We got one. Okay, so here's the thing, though. Okay, so I went into being a lifeguard because I wanted to like you know, save people's lives. But I went, when I was a lifeguard, I was a lifeguard at the Disney Hotel. <laughs> yeah. And it was really fast that that lazy river made me not want to save a human being's life anymore. <laughs> yeah, and I blame that on Disney. Disney did that to me. There was one point I let a human being drown for 29 seconds. <laughs> One more second, I wouldn't be able to say it up here on stage. I would get in trouble for that. But yeah, I was in the lazy river at the Disney Hotel. This guy, he had a bratty ass kid who was splashing me the whole time I was lifeguarding, making fun of my big old red dingling looking thing. Like, I know what it looks like, kid, shut up. All right? But his dad jumped in the water. It's a three foot lazy river. His dad was six foot four, okay? As soon as he got in the water, you just see his legs do this. <laughs> and then he starts floating right on top of the water. 29 seconds I let that guy drown. <laughs> it's a long time. His son was standing on the side like, Daddy, just stand up! <laughs> so yeah, 29 seconds goes by. I jump in, bash his head underneath the water, and then I throw my red dingling at his kid. Whatever. <laughs> I don't fucking care. <laughs> I got fired after that. So. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see my outfit tonight. This is my like, this is my like, I'm going out to the club. Yo, Q. 
Marcus, y'all going? Y'all coming with me to club after this? Yeah, fuck you guys, because you guys dance well, okay? <sighs> I think I dance good. You know, like in my mind, I feel like I'm dancing like Chris Brown, like doing the body rolls, crip walking on the ass. <laughs> but really, I'm drunk by the time I go dance. So it's just me like fist pumping and then like trying to fight a Carlton. <laughs> no? <laughs> Fuck you, Marcus. <laughs> I'm dancing good. One move I like to do, who's not good at dancing? Asian guy. <laughs> you know, try this sometime. I call this drunk chicken. So what you do is, you go to the bar, and you order 10 shots, and you take all of those shots back to back, boom, 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 boom. When you turn around, you're gonna black out, okay? And then that's when you start playing drunk chicken. <laughs> So you go stumble your way over to that dance floor. If the girl bobs out of the way, that's not the one for you. <laughs> Until you get to that girl that's drunk enough that she bops you in the head, you're gonna be making out five minutes later. Come here, bro. Come here. Got you, try it. It'll save your life. Just don't go with Marcus and Q. <laughs> I, just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do when I'm dancing. Cause it, okay, for me, I feel comfortable grinding from behind. <laughs> yeah, this is like an easy dance move. I can do this all fucking night, ladies. <laughs> look me in the eyes, don't look away from me. <laughs> no, yeah, but okay, but that's the thing. Okay, so grinding from behind, that's easy. But it always gets to the point that she wants to turn around and face you. <laughs> I get flustered. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know whether my legs are supposed to be super far apart with hers in between mine, or if I close my legs and dance in between hers. You? Does this work for you? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. You just take one leg and fuck the shit out that leg. I don't know. Whatever. Go home. <laughs> We ain't going out later. Um, you guys want to hear another job that I'm going to get fired from? <laughs> you guys like accents? <laughs> I'm going to leave you alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, uh, I used to work at a gym. And we had the, you know, we had a gym announcement on the weekends. I used to do it with accents. Yeah. So uh, this first one, I call it my local uncle accent. Are you guys from here? <laughs> Your dead face. <sighs> All right, so this is for you then. So this is my local uncle accent. It goes like this, it goes, Aloha, Kaka Cult members and guests. Just one friendly reminder for please wipe down your equipment after each use and use a towel when you're working out. It is also our gym policy that no bags are allowed on the gym floor. Don't make me come back there and tell you to move your bag, eh? You fucking guy, eh? Stop what you doing, eh? Jim, all right. <laughs> See, and that one was good too, because it's a really local gym. So all the local guys in the back, they're like, oh, Uncle going to come back here and tell me if I move my back. Better go put him away, huh? Wait, say something to me. <laughs> all right, this is my last one, and I'm going to get out here. I call this one my Mexican accent. It goes like this, it goes, Orale! Attention members and guests. Just a friendly reminder to please write down your equipment after each use 
and use the towel while you're working out. I mean, come on, man. How many more wet backs do we need in this gym? Hold on, man. You get it? You get it? All right, guys, that's my time. Thank you.